Hi, this is Tana VP reporting at Heroes and Villains Fan Fest. We are in California with the lovely Matt Ryan. How are you doing? I'm great, yeah. I'm having a fantastic time, yeah. So you're here with the Arrow uh, cast along with other DC shows. Everyone's going to be asking you, are you going to be back on Arrow? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, it's not something I'd be against. Uh, 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 being on the show was fantastic. Everybody was lovely to work with. And obviously, reprising the character of John Constantine was, was great fun. And uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. It's up to those guys, you know, whatever they have in their storylines and stuff. But, you know, uh, I'd love to get the trench coat back on again. So we'll see. We'd love to see you in it. Oh, oh. I mean, bringing that character back, there must have obviously been quite a bit of a time difference between finishing Constantine and coming back on Arrow. Was it easy to reprise the role? Yeah, well, it kind of took like a few takes. Uh, and then after that, it was kind of uh, straight back there, you know. Um, he's such a, an amazing three-dimensional complex character. And, uh, you know, I did so much research on him and loved him so much that, you know, getting back into him was pretty cool. But the interesting thing was, is it almost didn't happen because I was just about to start doing a play on Broadway. Yeah. And uh, they had to actually swap around the, 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 the scheduling of their episodes, of how they shot their episodes to fit me in. So they flew me in, dyed my hair blonde, we shot, then they flew me back to New York and dyed my hair back black when I started rehearsals for a play. But That's fantastic. Yeah. And that was uh, Tris Rakin, was it, with yes. uh, Kira Knightley? Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah. And how was that? I mean, obviously, being, it's quite different to playing someone like Constantine. Was it a, sort of a difficult part to play or was it quite, again, just an easy, refreshing change? Well, I love the theatre, you know, and I, I always, uh, I grew, you know, I kind of uh, grew up in the theatre and, uh, and I, I'd always want to go back to the theatre. It was a, it's a very co tough, complex play that we were doing. Um, um, so it wasn't in, by any stretch, uh, easy. But it was challenging in all in, in the best ways possible and uh, being on stage on Broadway is just a, a great thing and working with such an amazing cast as well was awesome. Have you got any little kind of uh, memorable uh, moments from working with Kira? Oh yeah, lots. We had, you know, you work with someone for, you know, we, we were running the play for three months, you know, and, uh, you know, there's so many little things that happen on stage in live theatre, which, uh, which are always uh, funny, you know, there's, there, there's so many. It was a fantastic experience and she's, she's great to work with as well. Well, I'm wondering uh, here at the convention, are there many fans who are like me? Because I saw you in Arrow, thought you were amazing and went back and watched the whole of Constantine. Yeah, there's there's a lot a lot of people who have found Constantine through the episode that I did on Arrow, which is great. And I also think that there's a few Constantine fans that have found Arrow as well. You know, um, through you know following the character and knowing that he was going to be on Arrow. So um, yeah, and it's great that when it works like that, you know, in, in in that whole kind of DC universe. Well, one thing about Constantine is we know that Papa Midnight had predicted that there would be someone close to Constantine who would betray him, and we never really found out. I was guessing it was Manny, but am I right? Uh, yeah, it was Manny. Manny was the guy who was, um, who was kind of double-crossing him, and uh, he was the one who was bringing about the, the rise in darkness. It's a shame we didn't really get to see where that was going to go, you know, but, uh, you know, it's one of those things. Well, I mean, speaking about that sort of decision to cancel the show and a lot of people wondering, especially now with the DC Universe existing almost primarily on the CW network, do you think that if Constantine had been on the CW or moved there that it would have done better? I don't know. I, I mean, you, you can never tell these, these things, really. I think that... Um, what we were trying to do with the show is be as true as possible to the to the comics within the the, the kind of construct of a, a network television show. Uh, I think we were getting there, and uh, and it was a lot of fun to do, and uh, it would have been great to see where where we had gone with our storylines. But unfortunately, we didn't get there. Um, you know, and uh, uh, who knows what happens in the future? Who knows? I mean, you're obviously still a popular character with the critics and fans. Like, have you seen the Constantine action figure? I have, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool, yeah. It's one of the brilliant ones, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. I saw, I saw that on, uh, I follow DC on Twitter and I saw that they, uh, they, they had done one, yeah. So that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, like having an action figure, you know, it's, uh, yeah. you know, the kid in me is like, oh, you could do an action figure. Yeah. <laughs> you carry that one around with you probably. Uh, no, not, not really, no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And um, I know as well that you're um, going to be on an ITV show in England called, is it Halcyon? Yeah, that's correct. So it's an it's a eight-part drama for ITV, which will be on next year sometime. I'm not quite sure when. 
uh, and it's called the Halcyon. It's set around this hotel called the Halcyon, and it's about the people in and around the hotel and how they deal with the Blitz in 1940s. And I play an American broadcast journalist who is based somewhat on uh, Edward R. Murrow. And uh, yeah, it's a really, really stylish, sexy, um, interesting show, and uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing, uh, you know, the how how the show does, and uh, and and I think it'll be great. And what kind of character will you be on the show? Well, he's a broadcast journalist, a journalist who's come over from America, who's ambitious and uh, wants to report on the war back to America, and uh, he gets caught up in the. Uh, uh, in the dynamics of all the people within the hotel, you know, and there's there's love interests that go on and uh, interesting dynamics between um, all the different people in there, and that's ultimately what the show is about, you know. It's it's set in World War Two, it's set in the 1940s, but you know, it's really about kind of these characters and how they react to the situation around them and and all the interrelationships. And uh, he's kind of this uh, uh, suave American kind of bullshit guy that comes into the mix and stirs things up a bit. So you're going to be using another accent then? I am, yeah. yeah. And very finally, we are at Heroes and Villains Man Fest. So, do you prefer playing a hero or a villain? Villain, definitely. But John Constantine is both, you see. Yeah. He's both. He's a hero. He's a tortured soul. Yeah, he is, man. And that's why he is my favorite comic book character. Because, you know, he's a three-dimensional street magician. And, uh, yeah, he's just, he's, he's got everything. He's good and he's bad, you know. Well, I'd love to see you back as a villain or a hero. Thank you so much for talking to us and have a great time at the convention. Cheers, thanks.